Hey everyone, today we're gonna to share some best practices on how you can create amazing looking background videos for your Tonics website. Um, and just so you know on show, there's a couple things that you need to make sure you do. Um, and that is keep it within eight megabytes because there is a limit on the size there. And it also has to be an MP4 file. So we're actually gonna go into my website here and I'll go ahead and show you some of the best practices on how to get your video looking um, really crisp and clean while still staying, staying within those parameters. So the first thing that you wanna do and what I recommend, this is a free video editing software that you can get. It's called DaVinci Resolve. So if you search DaVinci Resolve free download, you can go ahead and click on the first thing that comes up here and you're gonna go down and free download now. You're gonna click on that and there's a um, DaVinci Resolve 18 and then the studio version. So you just want 18. So if you're Mac or Windows, go ahead and click that. It's gonna go ahead and have you fill out a few things for information, but you'll actually get the free download for that. Now, once you got that downloaded, this is what it's gonna look like when you open up your project. So what we're gonna do is go over to this tab right here and you're gonna find your media. So I have mine actually right here, but you're gonna go ahead and find your video and you can just pull that straight in here. It's gonna ask if you wanna change your frame rate. You can go ahead and do that. That's not gonna mess with anything there. But now you have your video pulled in. You're gonna go ahead and go to the edit tab here, grab your video and pull it into your timeline. Now, what I recommend, this video is about 14 seconds long. I always suggest doing around eight seconds. The reason being is because of how small the video file has to be. If you have it more than about eight seconds ago, it's gonna start looking a little bit blurry and low quality. So I always like to keep it around eight. So I actually picked my best eight shots out of this video. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna stop it right here. Um, if you don't know how to edit in DaVinci Resolve, you can actually go ahead and just grab this tool right here. It's gonna be the easiest way. And you can cut where you need to cut. And then you're gonna press A and then click on it and press delete and then click on the space and press delete. So if you need to pull any shots out to make a video shorter, that's the easiest way to do it. If you need to edit a whole video, I would go ahead and just look on YouTube for a full tutorial in DaVinci Resolve. But if you're just making a minor edit like that, that's an easy way to do it. Now, once you have your video ready to go for your website, how you want it, you can go all the way over to this rocket button here. So when you click this rocket, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So the first thing that we wanna do is select H.265 master. And when we do that, you're gonna go down to file name here, and this is gonna be test background video for me. And you're gonna choose a location where you wanna store it. I'm just gonna save it in my downloads because this isn't a real project for me, but make sure you store it somewhere where you can access it easily. Um, and then what you're gonna do is go down here. This is really important, your codec you actually have to have it, or I'm sorry, your format. You actually have to have that as MP4. If it's not MP4, it's not gonna show up when you upload it and show it. So make sure you're MP4. I would also recommend switching the resolution if it's not already to 1080. Um, on the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you actually can't export in 4K, nor would I recommend it because it takes up a lot more uh, space. Um, and since we are restricted by our size here, we don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna recommend starting at is around 10,000 here. And there's a little bit of trial and error to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it at 10,000 and see what file size I end up with. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, add to render queue. And then we're gonna click here and press render all. So that's gonna run through that real quick. And you can actually right click and press reveal and finder here. So right now we're at 11. So we need to go down a little bit more to get to eight. So let me go ahead and just drag this over. I'm gonna go, uh, actually let's go around 8,000. See how that looks. All right, and I'm actually gonna replace the existing file because I don't want 10 versions of it. Okay, so now we're at nine. So let's go down to 7,000. And uh, your settings aren't gonna be the exact same as mine because they're, your video might be longer or shorter. So there's just a little bit of trial and error playing around with this. So, okay, we're at exactly eight here. So we'll see if this works. It might be eight point something and it's not showing me, but right now it's saying eight. So what we're gonna do is go over to our Show It website here. And I'm gonna double click on this. One thing to make sure, this is if you're using a canvas background with the media type as video. 
Now, there's actually a way where you can go in here and select the video itself, and this is actually gonna be a Vimeo or a YouTube video. So just make sure that you are actually on Canvas background and not that you can also upload videos that way, um, but it's not as interactive with your template. So let me get rid of this here real quick. All right, so we're gonna click here for, on our video and then we're gonna hit upload file. I'm gonna go to my downloads and try that test background video and we'll see if it uploads here. Sometimes it takes a minute to process through too. There we go, okay, perfect, that worked. And we can see once that actually loads properly here that it's actually, there we go. So it's high quality, it looks really crispy and really beautiful on my website. So that's the easiest way to do it. Um, and if you follow those steps, you should be able to get not on the file size, but also the right type of file to put it on your Tonic website.